Hi guys, this is Bim here, also known as Mango Mustelid, and this is part 4 of the Fursuit Timelapse Refurbishing Series thing. Just a disclaimer, this is not a tutorial, this is just a time lapse of my process of remaking my fursuit. I do plan on making some tutorials in the future, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try and cover those once I start making tutorial videos. <laughs> to start with, I'm just pinning everything together. While I'm pinning them together, I'm just making sure to not over tighten pieces or leave them too loose and making sure that all the tags match up. On some of the pieces, I did not draw tags so I'm pretty much just going by eye or by feel I guess. Once everything's pinned together, I like to give it a brush through just to get out all those pieces of fur that might be stuck in between the seams. Something I always forgot to mention is that when I'm pinning furs together, I like to tuck the fur or brush the fur inward to try and push the fur away from the seam. Only is, if you have fur stuck in your seams, it's going to be harder to brush out later and it's going to make the seam bulky and unappealing. It's going to just look real nasty. Now I'm just sewing the pieces up. For normal pieces that don't require much strength or stability, like the face, ears, toes, anything that's going to be glued down, I just go over it with a straight stitch. But anything that's going to be in a high movement area, I go over it again with a zigzag stitch. Examples of this would be like the bodysuit or the neck, you know, arms, blah blah blah, tail, etc. That sort of stuff. Here I'm starting to pin all the facial pieces together.
Another thing I should mention is I did not record sewing in the eyebrows as I'm still waiting for the golden fox fur I ordered. I was originally just going to use some yellow luxury shag that I had, but I decided I wanted it to look a little darker, so I went and ordered something different.
Now that the face is for the most part all sewn together, I am pinning the nose on for sewing. Now I'm moving on to the ears. Sadly I did not record any footage of me foaming the ears or attaching them to the head and doing the patterning, but I did remember to film sewing up the ears, which is good. <laughs> Apologies for the intense lighting, I plan on getting some proper lighting set up so that way I can film things and have them looking crisp and very visual. This is just a temporary setup as I've recently changed around my desk area and did not have a proper lighting arrangement.
I apologize, I did lose some video of me sewing in the snout freckles, I guess they'd be called. As I wasn't originally going to sew them in, it was kind of a last minute decision, but I did get enough footage to show you how I sewed them in. So that's pretty much it for part four of the video series. I'll see you guys next Monday, and yeah, this is how it's looking so far. <laughs>